right now. No, don't that, watch that. That could be slippery. Come on over here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, look at that. Bubbling cauldron. The heat is enough water to keep that just boiling. How cool is that? That's, uh, nobody gets down to see that in person. That is really something. I didn't see that last time I was here. I'm glad you came this way. Well, wonders never cease. Kind of amazing, the snow sculptures. That form. The water, even though it's ice cold, has quite a bit of warmth in it relative to the snow. So it makes its way down through here, silently moving underneath the snow. Look at that. Look at Susan, check this out. I mean, that's got an eight-foot span. See that? Look at that. Wow. That's about an eight-foot span right there. Holding it with one little... Well, one little piece is still there. This is very old snow. It has uh, frozen and thawed many times. And it's very dense. We are walking right on top of it, no problem. It's... It's... It's not quite ice, and it's most certainly not snow. So there is strength there. But I would think in the not-too-distant future, that piece will fall. Every night, it might get cold enough up here to uh, freeze. Pretty fun stuff. Susan and I, we go on adventures. We find fun things. We go and look and explore. Yeah, we, we you know, take some chance. All calculated risk. But we do want to experience and see what we can see. These little skylights that the stream is sending up. Look at it, it just goes right along. You can follow the stream up here. Little skylights. Pretty good stuff. We like our Iceland. Crossroads. Pretty nice of the Icelandic people to put these signs up.
I think a word that we heard quite a bit today was spectacular. Spectacular is how people would describe this place. It's interesting, you do get a very similar type of person. A little bit of the adventure, adventurous spirit in them. They want to see this part of the world. So they come. That's fun. We're proud to be part of that group. We hope you enjoy. All those mountains over there with flat tops, the glaciers just cut them off. A what? It almost looks like a grouse. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a bird up there. Yeah, Susan's got a good eye for that boy. That Eastern Oregon thing. She picks out those birds. Our poor little tent, here. I guess is happy. Eating dinner at Kalinger Fall is happy. Lots of happy people here. Times. Look at those smiling. <laughs> I'm ready for a real meal. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, I've been feeding her for the last three days, and now she says she wants a real meal. Some gratitude. Okay. Happiness is hiking. Yes. Yes. Cheesecake is happiness. Happiness. Yes. Strawberry cheesecake. <laughs> Strawberry cheesecake is happiness. <laughs> and we get to eat with our European friends. They won't talk to us. <laughs> Calligraphal. We just had a delicious dinner. They're having uh, some sort of holiday, Icelandic holiday. That red bus pulled up and all the green tents filled up. There's people here from everywhere. It's an Icelandic thing.
it's quite amazing. There's something about this place though that really gets under your skin. I don't know what it is, but it has a really good feeling. A really good feeling. 